Yep, there we go. The stream's working to confirm. Oh, you can see the tits bouncing? I can. Getting ready. <laughs> you just want to watch those? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't care about this game. Just go back to those tits. You can't go wrong with that. How is this romantic? So this week we are playing Zombie Vikings on PS4. I am Zach from MyGamer.com. I am Dan. And I'm Adam. And we're super awesome. How about we like this nice German head? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, this this game, the art is done by, correct me if I'm wrong on this, you have the uh, fact sheet in front of you, right, Zach? I'm, I'm actually looking that up right now. The art was done by uh, SMBC, right? The guy who does SMBC? That's Saturday morning Fine. breakfast cereal, for those who don't know. I gotta find, oh, here we go. Because uh... Dan's too late to actually say the words. I think they put SMBC on the press release is why I said it that way. Ah. But memory remains. You must go back. All right, I'm looking at about a 20 second uh, behind, so I'll probably just go to straight chat. Be a lot easier. Look on the Skype. Well, no, I do that, but I'm I always like to see how far behind. Oh, we are. yeah, okay. yeah. It's usually it's anywhere from 20 to like 40 seconds sometimes. Yeah, normally <laughs> it, normally on a chat you're looking at a something. Along well, chat's pretty fast. Uh, chat, you're looking at about 45. What? That's no. across the board. Yeah, Skype is. Uh, my, the capture card is, I think the capture card itself is between 5 and 10, and then it's whatever Skype itself adds on. It's between, that. wow, it's more than 5 seconds behind? That's just HDMI capture. There's this, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, there's, that's yeah, there's, HD there's, capture, that's, there's no other way around that, man. That's that sucks. across the board. Yeah. Oh, Gandolphins is here. Hey, man, what's up? What up, Gandolphins? Oh, you're playing as uh, the you have girl to. girl. This level requires her. Oh, I thought that was one before that we were playing. No, remember we got stuck on this level? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. So yeah, Dan and I have previously played a little bit of this together. Oh, good, okay. Yeah, this I may, is uh, like the third level. Um, it is amazing. Yep. We encountered no pubs. Nope, none at all. There was an update. Uh, this, really? Did this, you get no, that no, no. update? This got downloaded, like, this week. Yeah, they because uh, it came out and then I actually got a press release that they downloaded it to like one point like one or something like that. This this oh. it, yeah that doesn't really matter because it, like yeah. I downloaded this after that. This is wait yeah, this this is the to be uh, official. This is Zombie Vikings the Ragnarok edition, right? Uh, I, it's one of uh. Because they're they're coming out with the box because right now it's only on PSN but they're coming out with the box version and that's the they calling it the Ragnarok edition. I'm looking through my emails here. We did not get a box version. That no, yeah, we didn't, yeah. So maybe it's just the maybe, maybe uh, let's see here. Um, I guess the box version comes with two pl uh, additional playable characters, five verse arenas, and a digital art book. Oh wow. Uh, so let's see, Zombie Viking key features here, one to four player brawler featuring online or couch co-op gameplay, hilarious story, uh, let's see, and then you get, oh, and then you get the physical box version, which comes with five bonus verse arenas, two additional playable characters. The, uh, story wasn't huh. bad. Yeah, it, it actually was, it kind of, it's a really cool setting, I gotta give it to them for, like, cool settings and characters, they got that down. Yeah, um, it was... Give us a summary here, what's it all about? Loki stole Um's eye, and yeah. he resurrected you from the dead to fuck up Loki. And not like for a good reason. They're like, oh, it's because it's gonna fuck save the you, world. Odin. He's like, no, I just want my eye back. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, so yeah, you're under Odin's uh, command. You're a uh, dead warrior brought back by Odin to basically do as he wants and to get his eye back. Yeah, you're doing this for fame and for, uh, for treasure and glory. And yeah. so you can see? No. No, no the Odin can so see. Odin can see. So, <laughs> so he's got one eye. Well, well, he usually he has one eye, and it got stolen. So oh, 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 so his good eye got stolen. Exactly. Oh, all right. So okay. Odin, you know, the king of gods. Right, yes. yes. Okay. The All-Father. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so they got, you know, four pretty distinct... Uh, and they, I have to say, the characters are very unique. Uh, pretty different play styles. Like, I... When we were playing, I was actually the Krill Girl, which is he's playing right now. And what were you, Dan? I didn't even know. Uh, a squid man. Oh, so you guys are playing the same couch co-op for a yeah, while. Yeah, we did yeah. play it. Uh, it, it. PSN is a little obnoxious. Like, it's a little obnoxious with the way guests work. Like, yeah. uh, with couch co-op. Like, with Xbox, um, if you have someone sign in with a guest, on almost every game you can jump in online. Mm. Um... With PSN, it's just like, oh, we see that you have a guest there. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, because uh, so I, you know, I was at Dan's house and I tried to. We were trying to play online with uh, Rocket like Rocket Racers. League. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, all right. okay. We got screwed because like it's like, oh well, it's a guest. Mm -mm. So uh, yeah, you may put in your uh, sign in with your PSN. I'm oh like, well, yeah, because, right, yeah, because right, they want you to. Yep, yeah, that's because they want everybody that's playing to. That's well, that's why you, you have, have a PSN account. That's play online that, now, yeah. That's why you have a, an Xbox account because you have to pay to play online. But with an Xbox, I like I already have a live. I already have right. live gold. So right. Adam would be able to play it as a exactly. Guest. There, there's some games that do that. Like for example, back in Halo. the day, oh, Halo wow. did that exactly. Like you can have up to you know three other players, so you can play four guys and one Xbox online. And that's like brilliant. I mean, honestly, as long as yeah, as as one it, of you is online. You're good. It's up to the developer, I guess. You know how they really want to. Uh, well, oh, that that's not a system-wide thing. No, 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 no. That's up to the. It's up to each oh. individual game because it's a. Uh, well, and I don't think this has online play. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't know about this one, but the example that we. We're just thinking about PSN. PSN. No, it does. No, it does. It's a. It's the 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 press release here says one to four player online or couch co-op. Oh, okay. So oh. yeah, you can't you can't play it online, but I'm assuming yeah, everybody's going to need their own. PSN account. Yeah. yeah. Um, we did. I haven't even tried playing it online. Um, this kind of game, I like. I played. Uh, what was it? Dragon's Crown online. Yeah, I was just gonna say this is this is looking like Dragon's uh, Crown. Oh no, Dragon's like, Crown was good. Yeah, this is you know it's a similar it's a modern Final Fight. It's a modern you know beat 'em up. It's uh, a yeah, modern. Uh, it's closer to Final Fight than Dragon's Crown because Dragon's Crown you would actually actively level up when you did stuff. So this, this is, is just kind of just kind of a generic from, brawler. Like move from point A to point B, yeah. like without dying, or yes. is, or can you level up? Can you get new abilities? Uh, you get like new weapons and shit. And can you level that up then, or is it just new stuff? Uh, you get, you, you'll get of... like a chance to buy weapons, and they'll randomly be like, "Oh, well, also, just so you know, here's a new sword, and this does more damage." Or it has this special ability. Um, but oh yeah, like the stink, the stink one, but weapon you got. Yeah, the stink weapon that I got. <laughs> which, the thing's like, nasty. Oh shit, you're about to die. Yeah, I died. <laughs> That's a good thing about uh, when we were doing the couch co-op. Uh, yeah. They have a revival system, so uh, when your head comes off, your partner can pick up your head and throw it back on your body. Oh really? Yeah. That's you're cool. right. Yeah, it is actually a pretty good idea. Yeah, that is. Yeah, it's a nice twist on the uh, bringing someone back. And exactly. uh, you can vomit on the enemies and do damage to them. <laughs> yeah, like while your head is down, you can vomit on them. <laughs> so this is supposed to be like you know Ragnarok and and, and, and gods and things like that. It don't, but it almost seems like like a like a Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween kind of thing. Am yeah, I wrong? Think, what did we say, Dan? It was like Psychonauts meets uh, like Castle yeah. Monsters. Yeah, like that. Sort of. It's, sort of. It, it feels like it, it's kind of like everything's. It, it, it's weird because everything feels like a paper cutout, and sometimes if they want them to move in 3D, they'll actually like bend forward in 2D, like yeah. a paper cutout would. It's super fucking weird. 
Yeah, is this only, are you just, can you solely just move left or right, or can you, you kind of move, move up, up and down? down? No, it's, you can move up and down. But you're kind of... only in 2D, so it'll yes. do, like, weird fucking shit. Like a castle like, crasher, yeah. But it, it, you'll notice shit, like, sometimes when my character will, like, do a swipe forward, they'll bend in fucking half. And it's like, but it's the same, like, animation almost as when they're um, just attacking normally. Except they, like, just bend in a different way. It's really fucking weird. It is. Well, it's kind of like a Paper Mario kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it, right. yeah, that's actually a good way of putting it. And not, but, you know, it, I wouldn't consider that limiting, you know? No, in it's, fact, like, the art style is one of the more redeeming features about this. Oh, absolutely. Um, and, and it's they, not like 2D stuff can't be cool, like, uh, with, like, a link to, uh, a link between worlds kind of thing. Oh where, like, God, 2D shut can be... up about Link between worlds. Uh, no, I will not. Yeah, I... everyone else has, like, already, like, ridden that train last year. I can't help it. I love that game. Yeah, you just played that fucking game, though. I played it, like, three months ago, but thanks for... No, for, everyone uh, else was, like, so excited about that game for, like, six months. And, like, got over it, like, you know, eight months ago. And you're just like, oh, it's still so fresh in my mind, and I love it. It's so good. And, like, everyone got over it. It's, it's funny. Just because, like, you're just now getting the 3DS library. That's true. Can't deny that. But I notice quality, and it's quality. Oh, I notice quality. Although that does beg the reason why I hang out with you. So maybe I don't. Maybe you're right. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I think there's a lot of cool set pieces in here. Like, there's a lot of dimension to each thing. Where, you know, you've got a foreground, background, and like 18 other uh, different levels of... Even though it's 2D, yeah. Checked her with monkey juice and removed all her access So it, it's actually pretty good. The humor in it is actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, it's too bad we don't. I can't hear the audio. I wish I loved this part. I mean, it is like there are some things that are missed, as anything that goes on for a, a couple hours. Like you're gonna have a couple scenes that you're like, eh. But like there are a couple genuinely funny things that like even afterwards I was giggling about. Oh, totally. Um. Humor is one of the hardest things to do in games, I think. I mean, there's there's really only like a handful of games that really the get South humor. Park game, right? Hey, South yeah. Park. And, you know, you got like you got like Conquer. The funniest things I've ever experienced in a game. Yeah. The South Park game. The uh, Al Gore, defriend Al Gore, and it was done. <laughs> yeah. It was done so perfectly. With the man bear pig. No, just because it was like he friends you on Facebook, and the timing of the, when you got the quest to defriend Al Gore was like perfect because I was just thinking, man, I need to defriend Al Gore. And as I thought that on the screen, it pops up defriend Al Gore. Well, the beauty of that is that it's basically like playing an episode of South Park. Yeah. And South Park's already funny. Well, so like, right. You're, you're halfway there. I mean, just, you know, make the game in the, in the mood of the, or exactly make it in the mood of the show. And well, and I even said, like, when I was playing it, it, it felt like there were um, designed it, like they designed breaks in that game with like, oh, well, you're going to bed right now. Like there were episode breaks designed in. Right. Because it was like, this is the day part. This is the night part. This <laughs> is this part. So it, it actually felt like they had designed in breaks. True. Um... Yeah, no, I I thought that game was great, especially the it was. Abortion, oh, the abortion clinic. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I played that and beat it on New Year's Day. That, or New, New Year's. See, you were, you were kind of behind on that one too. That's yeah, funny. New Year's Eve, I played it, and I can remember we had you came over, and I don't remember if you you were there when it, I was at the abortion clinic. I think it was at, at the boss part. Yes, but, it was. Uh, I started laughing hysterically at that. Yeah. And uh, 
one of uh, someone came in and was like, "All right, I have to know what the fuck is so funny," and like I had to explain what the boss was. Oh yeah. They had to leave the room. They were laughing so hard. Yes, I remember that. And it was just like, yeah, that. And it's like, what is that? And it's like Khloe Kardashian's aborted fetus. And they're like. Fuck you. And like someone's like, wow, that's really big fetus. And it's like, well, fuck you, it's Khloe Kardashian. And he's like, what the fuck? Yeah. I honestly cannot wait until the new one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Even it was. The trailer it was a, is funny. I mean, it was, a, it was a licensed game done right for like the first time in a long time. Well, it's because the, you know, the. They gave like all the responsibility and all the power to the people who actually created the show. You know, I right, think that's yeah. really important. Well, and Matt and Trey have said forever that they love video games. They even made fun of themselves. It was in one of the episodes, the actual TV episodes. They're like, "No, pre-ordering games is fucking gay." And then like they had a message: "Go pre-order South Park: The Stick of Truth in store soon." And then like then the episode just like ended. Like they're just making fun of themselves, and it was hilarious. Totally. And uh, even, I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen the trailer for the new one, but like, they start like getting all their uh, their stuff together, and uh, he's just like, "All right, we're ready. Let's do this." And then like they show up, and it's a superhero, uh, it's a superhero uh, story, and they're like, "Oh, sorry, wrong game, wrong game. Yeah, Let's do this over." Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, they, they did it right, and, uh, you know, it'd be dumb not to make a sequel. I mean, if the first one was so well done, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to the second one for sure. Oh, yeah, and they're like, uh, you know, I will not I will not rest till we get at least a 9.5. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. They could probably, so does, I think well, they could how, do it again. How does this game, I mean, if you had to rate it on a, on a comedic scale, I mean, I haven't I haven't played it. You guys have played it more than me, but is it is it pretty good, or is it, does it fall a little short? I mean, well, uh, it's, it's very hit and miss to me. Like, yeah. it, some it's of it's not really good. South Park funny. Oh, God, no. It's, well, yeah, it's not nothing is. It is not Stick of Truth. Like, yeah, no, nothing is uh, Stick of Truth. Though. But, it, like, let's, let's call for reference state. Let's say South Park is the golden standard. And let's just say, I know Adam's going to hate this. Let's say that's the 10 for comedy in a game. Yeah. No, I'd, I'd, I'd probably put that as a 10. Okay, so, but for comedy in a game, that's a 10. I'd probably say, uh, at the moment, this is, between, like, I'd want to think about it more, but probably for the A 7? Uh, between an 8 and a 9, like an 8, 5. I would say 7 and 8. Um, I think Psychonauts is funnier than this, and I put that higher. Um... I mean, I thought Conquer was a funny game, too. Oh, I think Conquer is fun. It had a great mighty poo, for fuck's sake. Right. Yeah. And a song to go with it. Like, this, that's funny. Yeah, that, I mean, especially, you gotta think, that was back in the N64 era, and there was, oh, yeah. nothing, there was nothing like that at the time. And, oh, pff, yeah, but yeah. you were also, like, not paying attention to a bunch of this. When we were I was playing. paying attention. Well, you can replay it now on Rare Replay, too, so... It's the oh, no, he's, uh, he's uh, saying I wasn't paying attention when we were playing. Co oh, you mean right now? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For this. I'm sorry. I I'm surprised you heard anything over your gloating over your higher score than me constantly. Well, that's just because I'm better at games than you. See, there you go again. Losing that concentration. And wrong, being wrong. That too. Temperature <laughs> sensitive. It's okay. The water is cold. Ugh. Cold is a temperature. Just ugh. So that's the eye right there, then? Yeah, it's Odin's eye. The old soap dropping routine. See, this I, con I consider pretty funny. God, no! I have to get it back. Even if I. Like, clear innuendo, and, and it's you can feel the creepiness and awkward over that. That's funny. See, there's a. There, like. A comedy again, I think, is just one of the hardest things to do in a game. Like that was just a cutscene, which is you know right. humorous, great. But like you got a game like South Park and like Conquer, who like blended into actual gameplay. Like your Conquer, you literally pee on stuff, and you you know oh, you're, you're, yeah the combat even for right like, stuff. You, you you fight a poo by throwing toilet paper at it. Like it's it's like a part of the gameplay. You know this is you know more like a I guess like a movie because it's just like a, it's a cutscene, a cinematic 
uh, portion of the game, but to, yeah. to blend in a comedic value into a game is is just incredibly hard to do because you never know what the player is going to do, what they're thinking, and kind of stuff like this. But oh um, yeah, comedy is subjective. It's very yeah, right. E exactly. Exactly. Oh, I never played as a little guy. Little critters looking thing. I'm, I'm going to say animal from uh, what you may call it, from Muppets. Ah, gotcha. I would, yeah, that's pretty apt. Ooh, good shot. I wonder if it's like Zelda where if you not attack enough chickens, they revolt. No. <laughs> I was trying that yesterday. Oh. I don't. Yeah. I don't know if you were like looking, but I was actively trying to do that at one point. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, there was like a chicken on stage, and I'm like, huh, I wonder. It just like kept attacking one chicken. Nice. Arise, chicken. Arise. Chicken arise. <laughs> arise, chicken arise. Oh, so I guess the uh, the PS4 version came out on September 1st. Yeah, I was not. Yeah, no, I was, no, I was looking. Yeah, so it's a it's a Zoink game, also available on PC. Metacritic has got 15 reviews with a collective score of a 63. Ooh. Yeah, the comedy is the best part. Yes, um, definitely. How much is the P? Is what is this like a ten dollar game, a twenty dollar oh, game? Because I think it's more than that. Yeah, because the box. Really? I mean, if they're, yeah, if they're making a box version. Shit, it's I'm not a 10. 60, is it? No, 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 no. It's a, uh... If only we could use some kind of information gathering device to... Yeah, if we only had a magical machine where we can type this into... I believe the device is called Suck It Dan. I'm pretty sure. That sounds about right. Let's see here. I always wonder if, like, that kind of shit happens where, like... like Say I met like a president of a video game company and like somehow pissed him off. Like, all he, he would be very easy for him to like take my favorite game sequel and like add a character as like Adam Defense, stupid nerd, kill him. Like, <laughs> you can do pretty much whatever you want. And you gotta uh, wonder, so, like, some of these characters if they ever have like real world equivalents. So Zoink Games partnered up with Rising Star Games to release this from oh, Swedish developer Zoink Games. Uh, let's see, Ragnarok Edition, a physical box version of the comedy-filled hack and slack adventure on PS4. Uh, let's see here. Oh, these dudes also made Stick It to the Man. That was a, uh, that was on PC as well as Xbox One. I think it was on PS4 as well. That was another, uh, smaller indie game. Um, uh, let's see, Dead Funny Adventure, written by comedic genius and Saturday morning breakfast cereal creator Zach Oh, so it was Smith? written by him. Yeah. That's why That it's makes funny. sense. That makes sense. And that's also why it's randomly hit and miss. Uh, yeah. Loki, Loki just snatched Odin's last magic eye right out of his eye socket and hastily ran away with it. Thor and the gods are too busy partying, so blind as a bat, Odin makes a last ditch, ditch effort to... Uh, this, latch this effort, desperate move. He raises four of the most fearsome zombie Vikings... Um, ba -ba -ba. it's a hack and slack it through boiling and gingerbread swamps of Mogaga. Am I saying that right? Who knows? Uh, there's all these crazy names in here with like a lot of A's and umlauts and stuff. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Eh, cool enough. I did think it's interesting that they got like a well-known uh, web comic, ar you know, web comic writer to do the comedy for it. I mean, if anything, that's gonna you know bring the people who who know that guy into here. Right. Yeah, yeah, Zombie Viking. Like, it's not sold at GameStop. I think you can only buy the box copy through. Maybe it's like I think it's Rising Stars, maybe website or something. Oh wow, really? I don't think, that's I don't think you can actually buy like it, that's a, like shit like that is like worth something one day because it's it's like a rare game that is not made you know sold in stores. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna hurt them, you know, not being able to get to the big the big stores. Maybe like Amazon only kind no, of a thing. No, it's, it's a collector's item for the most yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, because it's if it's released on PSN. People like Zach will buy it. And you, you could sell it for, uh, for for big money later. 
But anyway, that's uh, that's it. Zombie bike. Because I just checked like GameStop's website; they didn't even have it listed. Oh not wow! Even, not even used. Yeesh. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe if they if they're not doing it, because it makes sense. Trying to use the Steam mobile app to search stuff. Did you guys get a, uh, this is a completely off topic, did you get a Zelda Triforce Heroes demo code? I did. I did not. I'm giving away mine on the Twitter right now. You should what tell is it for? You should do that and then be like, oh, but you have to come into the chat. <laughs> uh, maybe, yeah, maybe, I'll, yeah, good idea. I'll do that right what now. Is, what system is that for? 3DS. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Too late. <laughs> I have an extra one as well. Yay! Probably gonna give it to Oh. Well, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I've been definitely, uh, because I, like Dan said, I am absolutely new to the whole 3DS, I guess you could say, culture. Did you just uh, get a 3DS? Yeah, yeah, well, I, I had one before that Dan gave me, which I lost, and, oh, uh... <laughs> lost. Great. How do you lose your well, 3DS? 3DS so. is such a great system. Yeah, how uh, so do the other you one, lose it? It got stolen. It still counts as getting lost. Uh, so it got stolen, and then I bought a brand new one, the uh, the new 3DS XL. The new, oh, okay, yeah. So now I have that, and I've been playing the bejesus out of it, uh, especially Monster Hunter 4. Oh yeah, if you got the new 3DS, sure. Mm. Playing Monster Hunter 4, you can play like uh, Zelda. It's yep. got the, the capabilities in there. Totally. Uh, I should be able to play it. Xenoblade. Right now. Well, yeah, I actually picked up Xenoblade, but I haven't played it yet because I'm trying to. I'm one of those guys who like, I can't stop got, playing a game. Right, you I got in a game like yeah, exactly. A game like Xenoblade too, man. That 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 I mean that game. It's a hundred hours. Yeah, it intimidates me because you got to play at least a hundred hours of that game to like make a dent in it. And I'm like, ah, oh man, I I don't know if I want to do that. I, I don't got, know if I, I can think I do got that. Like Thirty plus hours into that, and I literally because you get into it and it's like you start on the foot of the Colossus. And it's like, all right, well, you're going to work your way all up to the top. And it's like, I literally got all the way up to the top. And it's like, well, there's more. You're going to, like, explore a whole shitload of this. And I'm like, fucking hell. Are, are you going to get the uh, the sequel in uh, December? Comes out that first week of December on Wii U. Am I going to get that? I, dude, I fucking bought, like, Gears you buy of everything. War. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I make dumb purchasing uh, decisions. I was gonna say, yeah. I thought you fucking hated Gears of War. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that was a that was a little <laughs> bit of a mistake there. If you if you actually Mister! Listen, if you actually listen to the stream, there's like this long stream of like very <laughs> yeah. sad confessions. Oh. Uh, yeah, Zach's, pretty much. And Zach's just like. I'm like, why did you buy this? And Zach's just like, oh, oh. Ooh, yeah. We, uh, oh, that's, by the way, I was looking up uh, for Zombie Vikings on Steam. It is actually not available yet. It is not available yet. Is it really? No. Yeah, the release date says winter 2015. Do they have a price? No. It's just if it, available winter 2015. Huh. huh. So, yeah. Well, I guess the PSN version came out on the first. Well, that's, I thought the Steam version was already out. Yeah, I know. It's really weird. Oh, and they have a... Uh, this is interesting. In their reviews section for this... They have Tim Schafer. His quote is, Zombie Vikings is really funny and has lots of style, just like real Vikings. <laughs> I would not have thought Vikings, real Vikings were super funny, but... That's why he said that. I know, but like... No, but... I don't know, like the style thing, okay, that, that kind of makes sense, so... But why would they put that there if it's like... If it's a yeah. negative... <laughs> That's it's, it's Tim okay. Schaefer trying to be funny. And yeah, and he, when they're like, t yeah, Lee can let this dude pretty much do what he wants, so. Yeah, I guess that's true. Hmm. Interesting. So there's like 25 plus levels. Interesting. 
Yeah, and then I guess if you get the boxed Ragnarok version, you get a couple extra characters and some more battle or uh, multiplayer arenas, they said. Cool. Wow, they don't require a lot for the system requirements. Almost nothing. Yeah, if it's a, for a 2D game. Well, I don't know. What, what do you call this? I mean, it's not... Yeah, it I guess, like I guess a 2D you can game, but it's like multiple, multiple layers. I guess you can do the two, the two and a half D because you can walk up and down Mario. Yeah, I never really know what to call those. Yeah, it's just a 2.5 D. Hmm. So when does when does Fallout 4 come out? Uh, that's Getting. yeah. You got uh, Halo at the end of the month, and like Fallout comes out like the week after, I think. Maybe it's the second week after Halo. It's soon though. Know. It's it's no uh, November. Day. November tenth. Tenth. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cannot wait. I got mine on pre-order. Nice. Fucking Bethesda keeps ruining my life every time they release shit. Well, they just released the Fallout anthology. Did you see that? Where you get no. like you get you get every Fallout game. What? And it actually actually comes in a mini nuke canister, like a little little <sighs> mini. Just, just Google it, or, or game. I don't know if game. I think GameStop sells it, but or I know I know Amazon had it. But you get every you get Fallout one, two, three, all the DLC for three. I think you get Fallout Tactics too. Oh, that's uh, a cool. Because they Bethesda was fighting Interplay for the rights to those original games again, right? One and two, and and right. Tactics, and they finally after like you know. Man, it was probably like years or something of, of uh, legal debates. They finally got the rights back. And so they, because because Interplay released, they call it the Fallout Trilogy, which was Fallout 1, Fallout 2, and Fallout Tactics. And Obviously, no one likes Fallout Tactics. And, right, and, and well, they, it was the name Bethesda was pissed because they're like, Trilogy, you think this would include Fallout 3, but that's our game, and you're, that's not in the, that's not in the time, you know, not in your, right. you don't have the rights to Fallout 3. So it, it, that's what kind of kicked off this whole, uh, issue and then they took oh, them to and corporate not only and all that, that stuff. but they were like, we're still making this Fallout MMO. And yeah, you're right. Yeah. Sell it, and oh yeah, I heard like, about the MMO thing. Well, and they so, were like, you don't have the right to an MMO, and they were going yes. around telling people that they did, and that was all fucked up. Yeah, it was it was a cluster. So it finally got all straightened out. And, uh, yeah, they like literally just went and said, "All right, you don't own the rights to fucking anything." Like, I think that like a judge had to step in. And yeah, no, they yeah they did. They took it. They took it all the way. You know, they they took it to court, and then so finally they got the rights back. So then, right when they got the rights back, that's when they came up with their Fallout anthology, where you get all the Fallout games. And right. they, that that actually just released like uh, two weeks ago, maybe maybe three weeks ago. Uh, hmm. So it's actually a nice tie-in for uh, Fallout 4, which is right around the corner here. But, <laughs> but playing Fallout 3, I mean, you know, I spent 130 hours into that game. Oh, yeah. I, now, what I, did you think of New Vegas? Because I, I, when I, I didn't really like Yeah, oh, and, and you get New Vegas in that uh, Fallout anthology. Uh, I definitely but, did not like it as much as 3. No, oh, yeah, me neither. I mean, it just kind of lost some of this charm. And what sucked about actually being in actual... Vegas, is there's so much fucking loading times. You had to like, you know. Go oh yeah, that fucking. It's it's just to the walk most asinine the way to get yeah. through the city ever. Right, just to walk through the city, you know, would just take you forever just because of the fucking loading times. It, it was. Oh, yeah. I, I hated that. Um, but I, it just didn't have the same like charm and uh, that the that the that the first uh, Fallout Three had. So um, I yeah, wasn't. The requirements on uh, four are <laughs> pretty hefty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, well, you oh, think so. I mean, it's, it's a, they, they were working on this game forever. And basically, when they announced it, it was, like, basically, like, done at that point. So, I mean, they were they were working on the game for probably, I think they said, like, three years or something like that. Well, yeah, Behind I, closed doors, they didn't let anything leak, you know, at all. And then they're and like, I heard, yeah, like, uh, the voice acting is absolutely absurd. There's, like, literally millions of... Uh, yeah. Of, of, voice, of voice acting hours in there. There's supposed to be more voice in... Fallout 4 than in like Fallout 3 and like Skyrim combined or something. Exactly, that's what I heard. Oh my god. It hurts my brain. Yeah, that, that's that's just gonna be a time sink. Yeah, right the there. recommended for for 4 is a uh, processor. It has to be an i7 3.6 gigahertz. i7? Yes, that's the recommended by the way. That's the recommended. Holy I have that. I know, so do I, but oh, holy well, you shit. Guys, yeah, you guys do because we're fucking hardcore Nerds, games yeah. shit. <laughs> uh, the memory is only 8 gig of RAM okay and the graphics holy shit 
the recommended graphics is an NVIDIA GTX 780, 3 gig of, ra 3 gig of RAM, or an AMD Radeon R9, 4 gig of RAM. And the hard drive is 30 gigabyte or more. Holy shit. Yeah. Fucking game those are, those, so big. Those are some new gen specs for you right there. Oh yeah, I don't even know if I'm gonna probably put this shit on low, uh, on low D, on low D, just to see what can happen here. I mean, my little laptop's been good yeah. to me, but it's yeah. starting to show its age. Yeah, with those specs, I uh, I, I, I might just up. buy it's this one you, on uh, it's me. PS4. I'm scared. Yeah, it's probably smart. It's probably smart. The min even the minimum is an i5 and 8 gig of RAM with a graphics of 2 gig of RAM and still 30 gig of space, obviously. So it, even the minimum, I'm like, uh, That's even kind of pushing uh, it a little bit there. Yeah, it's... Okay, it's... I managed to the boss. Awesome. Nice. Finish him off. Well, at least it's not a game-breaking one like when we had... Yeah, when we Someone fell off the her. stage. Well, that's not exactly quite true. We were still there. We were just in the background, stuck in a mountain, trying to get out, and we couldn't. Like, you, all the jump controls work, all the movement controls worked, but, like, you were stuck inside of stone, and you could not get out. It was pretty interesting. I hate when that happens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. Better be going. Oh, that's weird. Fallout 4 says it's partial controller support. Oh, uh, menus, probably. Yeah, but I mean, you think you'd be able to use, you know, controller for, through menus? Lots of games do that. No one said the path of the hero is easy. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah. Oh, what's the season pass do? Is that like all the DLC or something? Yeah, that's all the yeah. DLC. And I mean, they had, they had a bunch of DLC for... You know, Fallout 3, I think there was five? Oh, dude, yeah, and they're, they said they haven't even announced any of it, nor do they know what it all is yet. Yeah, but they're like, just buy this anyway. That's stupid, like, that's so weird that, like, uh, you know, you just trust them to have, like, amazing DLC, so you dude, buy the season pass for 30 do you bucks. Know that, I don't know if you remember this, but Fallout 3, the, every time DLC came out, they, they fucked it up. Like, the oh, game really? was broken when the DLC came out. Oh, all of it. <laughs> See, I don't tend to do DLC I, a whole lot. I, I I had all I got all the uh, Fallout Three DLC. I don't really remember any. Did you get them the day they came out? Uh, I think so. See, I, or, I don't tend to be a day one guy. Uh, the, day one is always bad. On, on, X, on Xbox or on, on like. 360. Yeah, I played uh, it on 360. Yeah. The day I remember the day the pick That's came out, the they uploaded the a development version of it for instead of the. Actual... Oh my God! Really? Yeah. So there were Whoa. like placeholder graphics there. Ooh. Like items were uh, had like exclamation marks over them. Um, <laughs> like there were play there was like all sorts of shit broken. Like straight up broken. The game crashed sometimes. Did you ever uh, play New Vegas with that, uh, I forget, the, the very first guy you ever meet? Uh, the old guy and his head would spin around? Oh, yeah. I had that, and it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. <laughs> Didn't they say that Fallout 4 was actually going to be the first game that's going to be like opened up to like the PC modding community? Like, you can mod really? Fallout 4? Wasn't, wasn't that... Cause I, or, or maybe that was maybe that's what they said or they were trying to get out of... Maybe that's not going to happen, but I know I that they were really cool. Yeah, because that, you know, that was one of the things that you know they're like you know you can you could do Skyrim and, and, and Fallout and, and all their other games on PC, but they really wanted to kind of open up that customization to the console market. I think they were working for it. I don't remember seeing anything about it, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be there. But that'll be interesting to see if, uh, if that makes it into the final game on console. Take up some more hard drive space. Yeah, it's already 30 gigs. Jesus. So, yeah, you're looking at $90 for Fallout and the Season Pass. And you're just, I guess you gotta hope to God that the DLC works and is awesome. I mean, I'm sure that it is, uh, you know, a money saving <laughs> thing if you buy the Season Pass ahead of time and don't buy it individually, but still. Right, my my whole thing with I mean, here's a Fallout Four is gonna be just a retardedly big game. 
And I mean, oh, by the time they release DLC number one, you're not even going to be finished with the main quest. Yeah, you got a point there. Like, with something like, so freaking big, is I, DLC that important? Like, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I wouldn't get the DLC until you, you know, probably until you, you finish the main quest. I'm assuming, you know, but they oh, yeah. know the DLC. I only get, like, like, DLC, like, a year later when I'm, like, bored. Yeah. I'm like, well, I killed everything. The game is going to be so big. By the time you, like, beat the game, probably, like, three out of the five DLC packs are already going to be out. It's like, you yeah. know. At that point, you're just kind of better off just like waiting for the inevitable sale, because you know you're not gonna have time to play all this stuff. Totally. Couldn't agree more. So don't. I mean, I'm not worried about DLC right now, but mm. who knows? Maybe it'll be uh, something good. I mean, it's Bethesda. They usually, uh, they usually do a pretty fantastic job. I've not been upset with anything Bethesda did. Yeah. Uh, in a Ever. I mean, yeah, Fall really. 3 was great. Skyrim was great. New Maybe Vegas, New but that, Vegas. But that, but that a was a little bit. But but that that's like, I know, but like, of the same. Yes, I understand. But I'm saying of that line. Yeah, it's pretty fantastic. Can't I complain. remember Fallout Tactics. That game was so bad. I never. See, I never played. got into Fallout until three, so I yeah, don't even know. Right. I tried to play like Fallout, I think it was Fallout 1 once, and man, that game is just hard as fuck. Dude, that's like going back and trying to play Elder Scrolls before. Oh, yeah, you can't. Like, even can't before, do, like, it's, oh, I, I went back and played before 3. Like, it's, if I, I really played wanted to play. Morrowind, it's like, those are games. Yeah, you're better off just playing, like, watching, like, Let's Plays or, like, speed runs of Fallout so you can. Oh, like, yeah, speed run would be about, amazing. That's you're like, not gonna. I'm not gonna. I don't have the patience to play like Fallout One like, or Fallout Morrowind Two. Morrowind is a hardcore. Oh yeah. Uh, PC RPG. Like that is back in the day when like a PC RPG like was entirely different than you know your standard than anything else. But it, it, like you talk about shit like Daggerfall. And that is so god. Dagger. I do feel like, but I think it's the kind of game that's that really that changes that. Cause like, I've tried playing, uh, you know, adventure games now, and it's not like it's you know everything's nice looking and all that stuff. But I have like zero patience as like an adult to play this stuff. Right, yeah. Whereas I have to find a thing and make sure this thing does that thing. I have zero patience for that shit, but I remember playing like King's Quest as a kid and yeah. liking it. Yeah, I was. I mean, as a because you're, you're a kid, you don't really know better, and and plus at the time, it's like you get like you know a few games a year, right? So you get one game, you got to play the shit out of it. Exactly. Even even if it sucked, you're still gonna just play it because you got nothing else to play, and you're a kid, and so your patience is just <laughs> way. Like I remember, like I back in the day, I can be you know original NES Ninja Turtles, right? Yes. Like. You go back now. You're you're not even gonna get past like level one. Oh, absolutely. You're, or or you're gonna, if anything, you or make that it up. God to, damn underwater. Make up the, yeah, you make it up to the, the damn level. There's no way. There's no the way. Purple uh, algae that are electrified. Yeah, oh yeah, my yeah, like, yeah, God. Just, yeah, not gonna. It's not gonna happen. Ugh. I have so many like terrible memories from that. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, but we had the patience to do that shit when we were kids. But well, now. I think you know it's not only patience. I think it's also just time. It, it's the, like, yeah, as time, adults, yeah, you don't have time, time for this shit. You, and you don't have like anything. Like you don't have to worry about like work or like what am I yeah. gonna like eat tonight for dinner? Like you yeah. can just full like just focus on games when you're a kid. It's a magical time. Yeah, that's why like you see like so many happy people like with Game Boys and stuff like that, and with DSs at like airports. Because that's like the only time when an adult has literally nothing yeah. better to do than right. to pass time playing video games. But yeah, when you're, you're just trapped on a plane or on a, on a bus or something, you can't. Yep. But man, I can remember just like, like Mega Man X, 1, 2, and 3, just dominating my childhood for a lot of time. And now I kind of go back, I'm like, oh fuck, I gotta beat this guy. Wait, what, who's weak against what? I don't fucking remember. Those are and great then, like, games. <laughs> they're great games, but like, I feel like I'm so much worse now than I was before. But I think it's just like, I just don't have the patience to like do it right. Well, also you're older, so the uh, your uh, tendons in your fingers are less agile. 
Oh yeah, I'm definitely not as fast as I used to be. I'm smarter, but I'm not faster. Well, uh, that's actually a thing with uh, professional gamers. Yeah, really? you gotta be you gotta be like 18. Like that's your peak. Well, it's it's like they actually have like it's like they have science for it that it's like yeah, around this time you actually have to start thinking about retiring because you know the tendons in your fingers start wearing down and it's like what the. F- yeah, when you hit like 23, you're basically done. Yeah, it's yeah. because like, you, like your hand can't move fast enough. You can't enough. like you can't button tap anymore like that ridiculously fast. You start losing some hand eye yeah, like can't, speed. Yeah, you can't do 500 like moves a second kind of yeah. thing. And I'm sure like those guys are gonna have like the worst arthritis ever later in life because they just we all, we all are. are. I know. There's I know. a guy that plays with sandbags on his wrist. He's training. So, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, you, you gotta do some weight resistance. I guess. Goddamn. Dude, he's fucking trading in StarCraft to be a super fan. <laughs> <laughs> he has weighted armor for his wrist. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Is there a King Kai planet? You can just go there. <laughs> and the oh. other guy just makes a room that's better. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> By the way, I finally seen the new film. Oh yeah! Finally, yes, and I liked it. Yeah, the new film is dope as shit. Yeah, I think it's like they finally Vegeta is finally useful for something. Yeah. Kinda. They're like equally as powerful. Finally. Yeah. The, how does he do that? Like. <laughs> well, they they have been equally as powerful since. Uh, no, not really. Like definitely not after Boo. Uh, no, at Boo, they kind of... It, no it, way, because, like, he, said, he even says at the end of Boo, like, hey, I'm not as strong as you, because you're awesome, uh, but let me help you out by distracting him. And, then, <laughs> like, that's that's it. That's all he could do. But only in, like, Battle of Gods did he show, like, a spark of him being, like, oh, okay, maybe he can do something. And then finally in this film, they're like, oh, yeah, by the way, they're equal. Like, wait, what? How did that happen? Ish. And right. yet he still blows it. So, that's pretty good distance for this. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, this has been Dan Gilman. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Gilman. Uh, you can also check me out on my gamer and my website that I update occasionally, varms.net. Uh, Zach? Yep, I am Zach Yazorowski. Of course, check out mygamer.com. It's where we, all three of us write stuff. News, reviews, uh, we'll post the stream there. Uh, my personal site is squallsnake.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. And if you're listening to this right now, I'm going to be giving away my last um, uh, Zelda Triforce Heroes demo code on my Twitter. So follow me there at Zach Gaz. I'm Adam Starnes, and you can find me on my gamer along with these guys. Uh, my username is Grizz. Feel free to check out my recent reviews. All right, and I guess we will catch you all next week. Game on.